In this video we will look at the main building block in Figma, its frame. You can choose it either in the top bar or by pressing F. If no object is selected, Figma will suggest us frame templates with different dimensions. You can set frames with any dimensions. Figma just suggests popular sizes and sets their preview modes to either mobile or desktop. There are no strict rules about what dimensions you should choose. For mobile, I would suggest choosing the size of your smartphone. This way, it will be easier to control that the layouts are working well on mobile. For example, I'll create a new text. I need to understand if it's convenient to read or it's too big or too small. I can zoom the canvas up to 100%, but it will still be different from the real size of mobile. We need to check the prototypes through Figma mirror. And to check it in actual size, use the dimensions of the smartphone that you use for Figma mirror. Some designers have different opinions. They use the smallest mobile dimensions to make sure all elements can fit the smallest screen. But in this way, you wouldn't be able to check the interactions in actual size. And placing a lot of small elements on the mobile screen is not a good idea anyway. Ok, so what about desktop? There are no rules for desktop screens as well. You can choose the size that is more convenient for you. For example, 1440 to 900 is a good ratio to put later in the mock-up. 1440 is not too big and not too small, but I prefer to work with smaller 1280 screen. This way you can make sure that the prototypes look well on a smaller desktop. And if your screen is not big, it will allow you to preview the prototype in 100% scale. I recommend you always preview your layouts in actual scale to control the sizes of the elements and the margins between them. I write a text on desktop too. How do you understand that this is big enough for comfortable reading? I can see on the design panel that it's 12 pixels, which might not be enough, but different fonts have different optimal sizes. To find it, you should preview your prototype in actual scale. Of course, you can set a scale on canvas also and even remove the side panels. When you click command slash, you remove the design panels. But the prototype will not have the same feeling as in browser. I recommend you preview it. By the way, the first frame that we have created was mobile. So if I preview it now, I'll have the mobile mockup. To fix this, we need to remove any selection and set in prototype device none instead of mobile screen. I'm recording this video on the big screen, so the frame of 1440 does not fill the full screen. To get the feeling of the real browser, you can change the background in prototype settings to match the background of your layout. As I said, I prefer to work with a smaller 1280 screen, but you can choose whatever you like. The only important thing that you've made sure that the prototype works well both on a smaller and on a bigger screen. On some occasions, you should show how the elements behave on smaller and on bigger screens if it's not obvious from the prototype. Later, we will also review how to create layout grids for different screen sizes.